This is a demo on how to create a local axis. I currently have absolute axis in the geometrical set. This should be renamed to construction geometry or engineering tech. So everything is capital letters. In the construction geometry, I'm going to build a point at a location of 0 in X, 5 inches in Y, and 5 inches in Z. So when I hit the point command, coordinate was the default type. So I just keyed in 0, 5, and 5 for their values and selected OK. And you can barely see it, but there's a point here. It's easier to see in the tree, point number 1. I can use that point to create an axis. The axis is found in standard and model in the part design workbench. Down below the feature is called axis system. I'll pick the axis, choose the point I created, select OK. This axis is known as the local or part axis. It just means that we're creating a, a local axis so we can start building a part on that axis system rather than to keep going back and forth and try and figure out the coordinates from the absolute axis. So another way to create an axis is to create the point on the fly. So in my action pad, I also have the same feature called axis system. I can, instead of selecting a point, since I don't have one, right click and create a point on the fly. That's called using a common tool. So I'm creating a point. Notice that it defaults back to 0, 0, the absolute axis. And the reference point is the origin of 0 and 0. If I highlight the reference point and choose point 1, in the graphic screen or I find it easier to come over to the left side and pick on the specification tree the point command it's measuring 5 inches and 5 inches from this axis rather than this axis down here so that would be really 10 and 10 from the absolute coordinates when I select OK it builds the axis on the fly Select OK to that. OK, and maybe I'm building me an auxiliary axis to work off temporarily before I go back to my local axis. So it could be a construction axis of some sort. Um, that would be more advanced features. So if you're doing more advanced features, you may have applications for that. I'd like to verify its location by going to Tools. And under Tools, we'll do a measure item. I'll select point number one. Point number one gives me point number one construction geometry and X, Y, and Z is at five inches. If I just click a location and I have the keep measure on, it will keep that. I can go ahead and grab the next point. I find it easier actually just to grab it off the tree. When I click on this, the coordinates it's giving me is the absolute coordinates. So I'm referencing back to the very first axis here. So when you hear coordinates and absolute coordinates, that means it's going off the absolute axis system, which is at 0 and 0. I'll select OK. So remember, the first axis, the default axis, is the absolute axis. And this is my local part axis. This might be an auxiliary axis. These coordinates refer back to the absolute axis when I use the measure item command. Now, where I get the uh, measurements and color to come up are in your legacy preferences. If I didn't get the desired results, you would go to customize and customize it till you can find the results you want. Mine are already set properly. So uh, just real quick, under my legacy preferences, Hmm. 
under parameter and measure under the measure tab tools I've set the colors line font types heights of the text I wanted and the reason why my axis comes up if you do not have an axis system coming up that is under your legacy preferences under infrastructure 3d shape infrastructure in the specification tree on the left under 3d shape the very first one must be checked on in order to get an axis created create a, or in order to get the absolute axis created. Creating a geometrical set, it will not create the construction set if you do not have that toggled on as well. All right, so those are your quick tips on how to create a local axis from the absolute axis.